Bob the Builder is a kids TV show where a bloke called Bob is the only one in town with any practical skills whatsoever. The town heavily relies on Bob and a load of vehicles with eyes that have been installed with the whiniest little voices available, like a load of dopey night riders. Uh, Bob? Bubbles? Oh no! The show is famous for its slogan, Can we fix it? Yes we can! Back in primary school, if you disobeyed and shouted no we can't instead, you were the epitome of an edgy rebellious punk. Talking of punk, Bob then polluted the airwaves with hit albums with amazingly creative names such as Bob the Builder, The Album, and never mind the Breeze Blocks. I wouldn't want to be the mother who has to explain that pun. They were filled with pop song covers by Bob that extraordinarily managed to make them sound even worse. There are also Bob video games, which leads us to Bob the Builder, Can We Fix It, for the PlayStation 1. Well, was this game a builder of beloved memories for children around the world, with each metaphorical layer of brick adding more and more joy? Or was it shit? Can we stick the disc in and find out? Yes, we can! Although, I have already recorded the footage, so it doesn't really matter. That theme tune is probably more iconic than the show itself. For some reason, the English accent wasn't good enough for the Yanks, so they made Bob and the gang American. Some countries even made slight alterations to the song lyrics. The main menu then appears. Wendy, Bob's bitch, is just sitting there pretending to do some work. She's frantically typing on a keyboard with no keys, which is therefore just a plank of plastic, and her incessant subjugation to a flicking monitor has resulted in her developing neck spasms, which is often mistaken for a constant state of disagreement. Do you need emergency assistance, Wendy? Are you sure? Okay. Presumably, if the keyboard does have any keys, they must send all that gibberish she's just typed up to the printer. The first thing you'll notice is the parental options. Is there blood in this game? Or, you know, Mortal Kombat style fatalities I can disable? Or swearing I can censor? Is there a mini game where if you don't adjust the parental settings, Bob has a bottle of whiskey and decides to joyride a tractor GTA style, ramming into the buildings causing chaos? Close. It's the volume level. Now, Billy, I don't mind you living a life of booze, drugs and criminality, but that volume better stay below seven or it's foster home time. What do you think is going to happen? Ma'am, ma'am, I was playing Bob the Builder and he warned me not to go to volume level eight, but I didn't listen to Bob and now my ears have exploded. First up, Travis's race, race day, where Travis is controversially allowed to say anything racist he wants. Travis, no. Travis... No, Travis. Not really. Believe it or not, it's actually a vehicle race. For each minigame, you can select easy. either one, two, or three hats medium. that correspond with easy, medium, and hard, hard difficulties. The race is far too easy. No matter how many hats you choose, you can virtually hold down the X button and win every time. Even if you refuse to move, your opponent waits for you a bit further down the track so you can catch up. Catch up, Dizzy! Next up, Radiator Riddle. There's a really long backstory to this brain-busting conundrum, which I feel is vital to demonstrate to you, the audience, in order to truly conceptualise this complex riddle. Oh no! I'd better ring Bob and get him round to fix my heating! So Bob walks about fixing leaks with his bare hands. At least I hope he's fixing. He truly is a handyman. The background music is a short instrumental loop of the theme song and is enough to drive anyone to insanity.
If only my parents were here. As a mere child myself, only they can adjust my audio settings. In the end, he decides to reward himself by giving Wendy anal. Oops, this doesn't fit here. Easy. Medium. Hard, 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 hard. Oh, that's better. Thank you, Bob. That was great, Bob. Mrs. Potts is very happy. Why does Bob look like he has no idea what's going on? It's as though he doesn't know where the people that are talking to him are. Or doesn't understand English, so he's just winging it. Thank you, Bob. That was great, Bob. Mrs. Potts is very happy. Thanks, Wendy. Now for Can We Build It, where Bob teaches kids that smashing things is fun. Our task is to fix Bob's shoddy workmanship, as a bridge he recently built is now collapsing. To do so, you have to lift huge pairs of wire fronts into place. Great! Can you get the next section now? Calm down, Bob. This isn't a sweatshop. Good work. We can build it. Yes, we did, Bob, didn't we, Bob? We did, didn't we, Bob? Easy. Well, don't take credit for my work, then. Otherwise, I'll prove that that little yellow hat ain't much good protection. Help. It's too high! Don't worry, Lofty. The bridge is safe now. Where's Pilchard is the next game. It's a lot like Where's Wally. If Wally was a cat and it was a lot harder to miss him than it was to spot him. It's safe to say this is not the first time Bob's desperately searched for a pussy. Is Pilchard suffocating? Hey, is she being crushed under those bricks? Did Lofty cause this Pilchard? I told him not to knock that bridge down. Is that it? Press X on the cat game? Where could she be? Oh, I don't know, Wendy. It's a mystery. It's a fucking mystery, Wendy. Say, after this, do you fancy a magical trip to the opticians? Typical cat. Shows up when it's dinner time and then sods off again. Let's see if the manual is more exciting than the game. Can we build it? Yes, we can. Can we race it? Yes, we can. Can we mend it? Yes, we can. Can we fix it? Yes, we can. Can we clear it? Yes, we can. Can we flatten it? Yes, we can. Can we dance it? Yes, we can. How many times are you going to use that? Ending with the same line every time is so cringeworthy. I've been Sorax. Watch this space. 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 See? Only the saddest of sados do it. Bob has laid new special cement in the school playground. That's the same special cement that got Wendy pregnant. Next, Hedgehog Rescue. Hedgehogs have been dangerously crossing the road where cars can crush them. So Bob delegates us to build a special hedgehog tunnel so they can cross safely. Let's build them a tunnel. Um, I've got news for you, Bob. They're hedgehogs. They can't make the conscious decision to use the tunnel. Except this one. This one can. Can we flatten it? No, Lofty, no. Yes, we can. Lofty, no. Bob's getting so annoyed with Lofty's incompetence that he can't even finish his own sentence. Let's try it somewhere. Let's try it somewhere else. I enjoy my job. Bob is my friend. I have a purpose in life and provide value to society. Bob is my friend. I am not having a mental breakdown. Bob is my friend. Next up, Scary Spud. Scary which reminds spud. me of that time I got home from the supermarket and found a rat's face in my roast potato. So this scarecrow runs around the field like a maniac, and if that wasn't enough, you can press X to make a sound that's extra scary. What sound is that you say? A roar? A scream? Don't be silly! He farts. He runs up to them and farts. I mean, at, at this point, do you even need a scarecrow? I know a bloke who'll do that for free! Why doesn't Bob just go out there and make an example of a crow by grabbing one, shoving its head up his own ass, running around with its twitching body hanging out of his anus, whilst farting and clenching his butt cheeks until it gradually suffocates and dies? Watch how the crows will scatter. <laughs> Goodbye, crow. Now for He's Wendy's birth. birthday. The day everyone pretends to love her. And Bob's forgotten. Oh, it's your birthday, Wendy. Oh, you forgot, Bob. 
then the only ride you're getting is on your tractor. The only seed you're sowing is on a plot of land outside. The only thing you're ploughing... I get it, Wendy, okay? I get it. No sex for a ball. We get to decorate Wendy's cake. The first thing we can place on the cake is a stick of dynamite. That will teach you. You don't deny Bob a shag after a hard day's work. Hard. We've also got chocolate buttons, sprinkles, models of vehicles and icing. Which we can use to write things with. Oh no no no. Big mistake. You're gonna regret putting that in the game. Finished. Wendy, I've got a surprise for you. The celebrations continue at a barn dance, which more closely resembles a dogging sight, as the cars creepily ogle Wendy in the background. Yeah, that's it. Work that ass. This takes the term minigame to a whole new level. You press one of the directional buttons, which corresponds to a piece of awful choreography, and then you watch them do it all over again in an intense action-packed replay. How is this a game? Night then, Bob. Thanks for a lovely day. Night, Wendy. I had a great day too. So, sex? Well, that was the last of the mini games. Let's see what happens to Bob at the end of his wondrous adventure. So you just play all of the mini games and nothing happens? Not even a high score system or anything? What did the back of the box promise? Get ready for fun? Excitement? Where could she be? Laughs non stop? <laughs> Goodbye, crow! Help! Overall, do I like it? No, I don't. This is a result of filling a metaphorical cement mixer with irritating characters and tedium and pouring whatever comes out onto a disc. Boring mini games with no M reward. I give this game a saw rating of 331 out of 20,111,998. I've been Sado, watch this space.